Suzanne McNeil with Design Originals and today I have a fun black and white project to do. This is sort of an optical illusion because it's black and white, white on black. So let me show you a few pieces. I've worked my Zentangle on this black heart on a white tile paper. And here is another black heart. This one's really an optical illusion because you can't, it's hard to see where the black and the white stop. And here's a mandala type design. So let me show you the simple process. So I have my little white tile, have some black cardstock. I'm just going to slip that right into my punch. I like to do my punches upside down so I can see exactly where it's positioned on the page. And now here I have my uh, black heart. So I'm just going to adhere that to my tile. I love this Uhu glue because it seems to stay moist much longer than any other glue. I have my tile in place. So now the key is that I have my white, I mean my black permanent ink micron pens and I have a white jelly roll pen. So first I'm going to start. I'm going to, uh, this, this, I love this heart because it has sort of a scallop shape around it. So I'm going to start by echoing with a little halo design. I'm using an 05 black micron. I'm going to work all around the heart using those scallop shapes as my guide. I may need to turn my tile to make it a little easier to draw. So you can see how quickly that works and how easy it is to do. I just love Zentangle. Somewhat addictive to me and so relaxing. So now I've worked all around the edge. Now I'm just going to arbitrarily come out here and draw a scroll shape. I'm going to take and put a pattern inside the scroll shape. Later I'll take my uh, Graphic One Micron pen and actually color in every other space. Now I'm going to draw another little scroll. And when this is totally finished, this is what gives the optical illusion of the heart, heart shape. Okay, so that's, I'm just starting, I'm just giving you the idea what to do, and now I have my white jelly roll pen, and I'm going to take that scroll shape and repeat it so it becomes continuous. I'm going to do this one the same way. I'm going to mirror these divisions on the scroll shape. Just working all the way to the end of the scroll shape. And just to show you what I can do, I can take and fill this in with white. Continuing. I love these Sakura Jelly Rolls. This white covers quite well. And now for the optical illusion. So this is black here. I'm going to skip one and do black here and continue working in this manner. So now it looks like that it sort of has the optical illusion that that scroll shape is continuous and you're not sure where the punch tart is and where the other is. So now I'm going to look in my, oh, I just love this book, Zentangle 12. Cindy Shepherd and I both worked on it together. I'm going to look for a tangle that I want to use. And I think I'm liking this Tinkles. It's on page three. Has a great look to it. Whoops, wrong page. Better turn back. So here's the Tinkles. And it's sort of a fun pattern. I'm going to do it in the black part, so I'll need to use my white pen. So what Tinkles does, it has starts with parallel lines to fill that space. 
and then the actual pattern is it's a stair step so I'm stair stepping up that line and then I'm going to repeat that on the next one so I have another series of stair steps continue doing that until I fill that entire place and then I'm going to draw a swirl in each of these open spaces just a little swirl it could be a round swirl or a square swirl and then a dot and a line in these closed spaces so tinkles just gives us fun it's fun to do and it looks good when it's finished so let me show you this one down here again I think you get the idea of what I did and there are just so many variations you can just keep going on forever the big key is the white on the black and the black on the white and that's what creates the optical illusion so these are this process is right here in the Zentangle 12 book along with lots of other great projects so enjoy